Good day, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This week I have something a little bit different. We're going to start by creating a character as I couldn't find a picture that I wanted to use for a character on any of the sites or any of the free sites. So I've used a program called Magic Poser and I've just posed this character here for my composite, the composite that I had in mind. So what I've done is just brought the character over into Affinity Photo and just added some clothes. So I've added a dress, added the cloak, um, recopied the head so the hair falls over the back of the cloak here, added a crown and added a torch. And this is the character that I have in mind for my next composite. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this file available for everybody on the Buy Me A Coffee site. So that'll be an Affinity Photo file that you can download and just open up in an Affinity Photo with all these layers all ready to go. So that will be available for all of you to download from the Buy Me A Coffee. So we'll head over to the tutorial now and how we're going to use this figure and this character in the next composite. So this is the photo that we're going to use for the composite and it will include the character that I just created. And you can see over here, I've got all of the assets here, including the character. So let's add our first picture into this, which will be our ship here on the horizon. And on our ship, we'll come down here to layer effects and just do a color overlay onto that ship. Maybe bring the opacity down to about 50%, just so it's got a little bit of definition. The water's a little bit calm, so I've added some sort of white waves and some little bit of texture in there just to give that water a little bit more character as well. I've added a foreground in front here. We'll also add a chest here as well on the rocks here. And also what I've done to create a little bit more depth, I've just copied with my selection brush tool, made a copy or a selection of each of these cliffs here and just added them in on each side here just to give that a little bit more depth. And then we can add in our character. And also we've got finally some birds up the top here. And on this bird layer, we'll just change that blend mode to darken and bring the birds down a little bit closer to the ship here as well. So what I'm going to do now is go through each of my layers. I'm going to add an exposure and just darken it all up a little bit. So I'll go through that now and add the exposure to each of these layers. As you can see, I've added exposure to all of these layers so I can just tweak them individually. So let's come down and start with the chest one. We'll make that a lot darker. And also my character will make a little bit darker as well. And also on my character while I'm here, I'm going to add a selective color from the adjustments as well. So I'm gonna come down to selective color. I want my character to blend in with the night scene a little bit better. So I'll just move that onto my character here, make sure I'm on neutrals and then just play with the cyan and yellow sliders a little bit just to blend that character in a tiny little bit more into the scene. On my character, I'm also going to add a recolor onto my character as well and then just find that sort of same color as a sort of fire or flame. And I'm going to invert that so I can paint that back in a little bit later. I think maybe the character needs to be a little bit brighter. Maybe about there, it's not too bad. I'll grab my brush, nice soft brush, change to black, and I might just make that flame a little bit brighter as well. I've got a flow of about 5%, it's not too bad. I might do is just bring up a little bit of brightness just on my character here as well just on the edges what I might do is just click on the recolor here change to white I've still got my flow at five I might bring it down a little bit and just add some of that orange that we inverted just down onto those bright parts as well 
it's not looking too bad so what I'm going to do is do the same to the chest as well so let's come down to the chest on the exposure level back to black still only on four percent and I'm just going to brighten that chest up a little bit going back and forth here just to get that brightness on the edges here I'm going to add that recolor as well. I want the same color, so I'm just going to copy the one from my character and bring that down onto my chest here. So just clip that to the chest. Go back to white on the recolor on the chest, and we'll just add some of that recolor just onto the chest there as well. I'll do the same on the rock here because we'd have a bit of that glow coming over onto the rock here as well. So let's come down to that cliff make sure we're on the right one so we'll just start with the exposure again with our brush this time we're back onto black again and let's just sort of put a bit of exposure back into there again we're going to grab that recolor as well we'll grab the one from the chest we'll copy it and i'm going to bring that up to that rock as well on that recolor, we'll go back to white. We're still on 4%, and we'll add some of that color just on the rock there as well. What I'll do now is come down to the ship. On top of the ship, I'm just going to put a pixel layer. On my brushes, make sure I'm on my brush. On my brushes, I'm going to come down to the dry media brushes, and I'm going to come down to the this one here, oil, pastel, dense blend. I'm going to make sure my color is white. I might bring the flow down to about, bring it down to 30% for now. And then let's zoom in on our ship up here. We'll make the brush a little bit smaller. Back to our layers. It's on top of the ship here. And right along the bottom of the ship here, I'm going to add sort of maybe looks like a little bit of so the ship like going through the surf here. So let's just add that. Let's zoom out a little bit, command zero. And we might just drop the opacity on that a tiny bit, maybe down to 50%. And that looks a little bit better on the ship here as well. Also on the ship, I'm going to add another pixel layer above the ship. And I'm going to grab brush sort of like a I've got these ones here so what I'm going to look for is like one of these lens flares and I'm going to make the color sort of like maybe a yellow color and let's have a look at that let's bring that back quite small we'll zoom in at the back of the ship here we'll just add that light there and that's just like our signal to our character here on the shore. So she's signaling to the ship and she's getting that signal. Let's make a few final little tweaks here. Maybe on the recolor here, we might be able to just lighten that up on our character a little bit. We'll add a, another pixel layer above the character here. Change the blend mode to glow. Grab our nice soft brushes again back on the basic brushes. Let's find like the orange color, maybe the orange, redder on the orange, maybe like that. Sort of quite big. Let's drop the flow down to about 10. Put a bit of glow on there as well. And one more little trick we might do is just, just above our foreground here, let's add another exposure, but we won't clip this one to anything. And we'll just darken that all the way up and then invert it. Come back to our brush, get our colors back to the way they were with D on the keyboard. And we'll just darken that little foreground just where our character and the chest is just so a little bit darker there. Okay, command zero. Let's have a look at that. Not looking too bad. So let's go up to the top and merge visible. Let's come over to our old tone mapping as usual. Come down here to the detailed one, bringing the tone compression down to about 5%. Local contrast down a little bit. Let's up the vibrance and the detail. Turning on our curves, let's 
grab that S curve. So there we go, everybody. That is my composite. We have our character, our princess, down here on a secluded beach, signaling out to the ship. The ship is signaling back. She's standing here with her chest and it looks like she is ready to escape. Don't forget that all of the photos that I've used will be listed below. Also, don't forget that the character here and the file containing all of these layers will be on the Buy Me A Coffee site for you to download absolutely free. I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Until next time, I'll say to you, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video.